everyone, Dave from BC Bushcraft. Today is going to be a really simple video on what I would choose to be my top five survival items. So first up, my number one survival item that I would choose to have is a knife. I always carry a knife on me, whether I'm going taking my dog out, which I am right now, and playing ball just out in some crown land out here. But I always like to carry a knife on me. And I think, uh, you know, I already did a video, top three survival items, and knife is very important. A lot of people will try to tell you that, you know, the best knife to have is the one that you have on you. But the reality is if you have, <laughs> if you have that knife, you know, it better be a, a half decent one. You don't want to be bringing cheap China stuff into the woods and then relying on it. So I think that motto is totally absurd because, you know, at least bring good quality knives with, out with you in the woods. So if you do get in a survival situation, you have a good knife. Make sure your knives are sharp and well taken care of. I prefer to carry full tang knives, but I would, you know, I'd way rather have a well taken care of folding knife that's nice and sharp than a full tang knife that's uh you know cheap metal and isn't sharp so it really depends it's up to you guys in your environment what type of knife you want to be bringing out uh, i like to bring full tang knives if i had my choice i'd probably bring my bayonet for a survival situation but i don't often bring my bayonet so i can't say that that's the best knife for me because i don't often bring it out into the woods so uh today i brought my condor bush lord because this comes with me quite often and you know, there's a few other knives, you know, Mora's and the Rat 3 that I'd bring too. So anyways, first up is a knife. So my second choice for survival items in my top five is my fire steel. I'm very comfortable in making fires with the fire steel. And this is one that I handmade myself with the handle. It's quite thick and I've already lit. It feels like hundreds of fires to me with this thing. And I still got a lot, a lot to go on it before I end up having to switch and I've probably had this for over a year now it seems like um, I carry a striker because you know just in case worst comes to worst um, I always have something to strike my ferrocerium rod just in case the knife is gone or anything like that you never know and I like using a striker more often than not some people who aren't that comfortable with them this shouldn't be on your list um, I'm very comfortable in lighting fires with this you know, even on really, really wet days when the conditions aren't good, I know I can get a fire going with this. It takes some time and effort, but I feel comfortable with it. Some people, you know, can't even do this on a dry day. So this is not going to be on your list. You know, a lighter is probably better or a pack of matches. Anyways, number two is going to be my fire steel. So third on my list is going to be uh, some sort of pot. Stainless steel pot, aluminum pot, titanium pot. The reason why I would choose a pot over something like say a stainless steel water bottle because you can purify more water with it. You can carry things in it. Um, you can also fry food in it and you can cook things better in a stainless steel pot or any sort of pot than you would uh, a water bottle. You know, it makes, if you have to carry water with you for a long journey, it makes it a little harder, but I feel like it's a more versatile piece of kit for survival than just having your standard stainless steel water bottle. If you, if you include the lid in the pot too, you can do things with the lid, you know, signaling. There's a lot of different things you can do with a pot and the stainless steel bottle to me is just a little bit, um, it just doesn't have as many dimensions as a pot does. So number three is a pot. And if you have watched my other survival item video, my top three, these are all the same. The top three are exactly the same. So my fourth item for the top five survival Bible items is a tarp. This happens to be a 10 by 12 tarp and it's not particularly expensive, but it keeps weather at bay. It will keep you dry. Uh, it's very, if you are in a survival situation, the things that are gonna kill you most likely isn't gonna be starvation, um, isn't gonna be dehydration if you're in an environment like this. But mostly, what's most likely, you're gonna die from things like hypothermia and exposure to the elements. Oh, you wanna play? <laughs> Sorry, I'll try to get this done so I can play with my dog. <laughs> so that's why I think having a tarp is a really good idea. You know, 
It's harder to build a totally waterproof, weatherproof shelter by hand when you're out in the woods. It, anything that you make will most likely leak. You almost have a better chance of being dry just sitting underneath a big tree or a grove of trees or hiding you know, in a hole or something like that. But um, you know, for long periods of survival, a tarp is gonna be really essential. So for me, number four is gonna be a tarp. So for my fifth survival item, I kind of had to think it through and, you know, my mind wanted to go um, take an axe because, you know, we're all tool heavy in our minds when we're doing bushcraft and stuff. But I actually don't think an axe would make it into my top five survival items. I know some people would replace the knife with an axe, but for me, I'm more comfortable with a knife. I would rather have a knife than an axe. A knife is easier to carry, etc., etc. I'm between two other items for my number my number five item so the two items that I'm kind of split between is a compass and a whistle now this whistle happens to have a button compass on it so that kind of puts two and one but if I was in a real survival situation you know you want to get out of the woods you don't want to live in the woods so I would want to have a compass or a whistle on me you know if you hurt yourself and you're unable to travel, the whistle is going to be more valuable than the compass because most likely you're going to stay in place and you're going to be trying to call for help. You know, you, you know, you might be making fire signals and stuff like that. If you're healthy and able bodied and you've just gotten lost in the woods and that becomes a survival situation, a compass will really help you. Even if you can't read a compass, just being able to tell which way is north and which way is south can give you a general direction to travel towards civilization instead of further into the wild. I know generally in the area that I am in, depending where I am, if I travel east, west, north, south, I know that I will reach roads, I will reach cities, I know generally where things are. I will reach an ocean even. You know, if you reach the ocean, maybe you can flag a ship down or something like that. So I really think that number five, it, it should be the compass, but if you've injured yourself and you're hurt and you can't move a compass isn't going to help you and a whistle might be better so with that being said i'm kind of between the two but i'm more leaning towards a compass as my fifth item i feel that with a knife a fire steel a pot a tarp and a compass that i could last a pretty pretty while out in the woods you know and if not i can get myself to safety without dying so those five are pretty good in my opinion if you guys disagree with it I would really like to hear what you have to say also I would like to hear what you have to say about between having a compass and a whistle um, you know I think some people might throw an axe in there depending you know they might even swap the knife for an axe they might not see I don't know they, <laughs> they might not bring want the tarp in there I think a tarp is a good idea just because it's really easy shelter and you can <laughs> travel on it as you go you can Sorry, you can set up your tarp as you're traveling and it's easier, right? So in conclusion, this is my top five survival items. I got my knife, I got my fire steel, my pot, tarp, and I'm going to say compass for now. But compass or whistle, depending on the situation. And we all know that we don't get to choose situations in survival. And the reality is, I probably wouldn't have most of these items on me if I was in a survival situation unless I was happened to be bushcrafting <laughs> and got in a survival situation you know if I'm out on a hike I always have a knife on me and I usually always have some way to make fire on top of that I most likely will have something for a makeshift cover cover it might just be simple as a heavy-duty garbage bag but things like that will save your life not fancy equipment not these little you know packages it's it's your brain and you know just have a few items on you and like you will have a lot better and proper clothing too obviously if you don't have proper clothing you know you're just setting yourself up for a disaster so anyways i hope you like this video please like please subscribe this is dave from bc bushcraft